They told me I had less than two years to live. That was in 1998, in the spring of 1998. I came back discouraged, not knowing what to do. I did everything I could find in Western medicine or what they call, what's called allopathic medicine, no answers. Then I got involved in Eastern medicine or what some people call alternative medicine, trying to search for answers. Again, I found no answers. October of 98 came around and I was getting worse and worse. And my sister gave me a phone call. She lives in North Carolina. And she told me her testimony. You know, since it was her testimony, I listened. She started telling me how that she had had tumors in her breasts just that same summer. And as she had learned to forgive our mother for some things that had gone on, she never talked to mom. She just between her and God forgave our mother. She says, as I forgave our mom, all the tumors in one breast went away. Amen. And I thought that was about as crazy as it could get, <laughs> about as ridiculous as it could be, but who am I gonna argue with her testimony? Then she says God spoke to her, and I said, that doesn't happen anymore, and told her she needed to forgive her mother-in-law. Well, I could understand that one. <laughs> she forgave her mother-in-law, and the tumors in the other breast went away. And I was listening, because it was her testimony. And she says, let me send you some tapes of where I learned about the connection between our attitudes, our thoughts, and our emotions and the diseases in our bodies. And I said, okay, I'll listen. I was desperate. I was dying. I would even listen to something like that, that I thought was just crazy. I listened to it. And as I listened to those tapes, I learned something about myself. I was born in the church, like little kids in here. My parents took me to church as a little kid. I went through all the youth groups in, in the church. I even preached when I was in high school. Because I was the, the, the chosen little one that was going to go off to the church college. I was going to be the missionary. That was mom's idea. It wasn't mine. So they put me in front. So I, I was in front. I preached. I went to the church college. I graduated with a degree in Bible, a pre-seminary degree. So I thought I had it all together. I thought I knew the scriptures. And this was challenging me. But as I listened to those tapes, I learned that as a born-again Christian, I had a spirit of bitterness. I had no clue. You know, I was raised with the thoughts that once you accept Jesus, all your past, present, and future sins are automatically forgiven. You've got nothing to do. It's all under the blood. I said, this can't be true. I can't have this bitterness in me. But I could look at memory after memory, and I resented things. I hated things that happened to me. And some of you are the same way. And then, they, then this tape step talking about this verse, 2 Timothy 1, 7, it says, I haven't given you a spirit of fear. Oh, well, wait a minute. I'm born again. I can't have an evil spirit in here. But I knew I was controlled by fear. I was afraid of the future. I was afraid of hurting some more. I was afraid of everything that was going on, because no matter what I ate, it hurt. No matter what I touched, it hurt. I couldn't even wear clothes anymore because even the purest of cottons would make my skin burn. I knew I was afraid of what was going to happen next. I knew I was controlled by a spirit of fear. And I started working through these things, and I started to forgive. I didn't know what forgiveness was. Nobody ever taught me, because it was all done. When I accepted Jesus. See, nobody ever taught me how to forgive. Or even what it was. Nobody taught me anything about fears or evil spirits. Because hey good and evil can't be in the same place at the same time. You're God's kid. You don't have to worry about any of that. Just forget about it. Well Hosea 4.6 says. God says that his people perish for a lack of knowledge. And that's what was happening to me. I didn't have a clue what was going on. And Satan loved it. 
He loved it. But God had other plans he wanted me to learn. So as I studied these things and listened to those tapes and transcribed them and even made a book out of them trying to prove the guy wrong because this just can't be right. Then in 1999 in January, Patty and I were getting a reprieve from the January weather in Hawaii, thawing out for a few days. And I was sitting at the condo we rented in the dining room table looking at the beach and going through everything I was learning. I says, Lord, I don't understand this, but I'm choosing to forgive. And I went through some memories. I forgive this when I forgive this. And Lord, I don't understand this fear stuff, but I know I'm controlled by it. So in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of fear. That 2 Timothy 1.7 talks about the leave me now. And I never prayed like that before in my life. Never. And as soon as I got the last word go out of my mind, out of my mouth, it was like 100 pounds came off my back. Just, ooh, man, that feels good. I stood up straight. And things changed. But it took me a little while to figure out what was going on. You see... I had developed a disease called multi-chemical sensitivity, environmental illness, or allergies, in other words. I had over a hundred allergies. I had become allergic to everything. That's why the clothes hurt, why the food hurt. That's even why the neuropathies were, my nerves were dying. And immediately when I told that spirit of fear to go, all those allergies left. It took me a couple or three days to figure it out. But I go right back to the restaurant I couldn't eat at the day before. Now I could eat the food and it didn't hurt. Yes, yes, yes. I could put the clothes on that didn't hurt anymore. Hallelujah. And at the same time, God healed the nerves in my neck that had been damaged. And I could lift weights. And I built my arm back. Yes. He gave it all back. Yes. But I had a role to play. Yes. I had to forgive. I had to tell that spirit of fear to go. I had to lift the weights. But his power healed. And what God has done for me, he wants to do for everyone else. I came back from that trip in Hawaii and changed. I was standing up straight. I wasn't scared anymore. And people started asking me questions. Hey, Art, what's going on? What happened? And I started sharing and, and, and started leading people in simple prayers of forgiveness. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And they started getting well. Their allergies or their MS or their heart disease was healed. People right here in Anchorage. That's how Wellspring got started in 1999. And we've been just doing the same thing ever since, folks. Just teaching how to forgive. How to tell the fears and the worries to go. And we watch God do miracles. Because He's the same today as He ever was. He has never changed.